very special day on the calendar. Noche Latina, commemorating the NBA's connection to Latin heritage and culture. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Ali LaForce, our reporter tonight. Ability to intimidate the other team and be a big presence on the defensive end really gave his team an edge. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Nicholas Batum. Rudy Gobert is out there with Wimbanyama. Then it's Evan Fournier. Wagner is out there with Mo Wagner. Then it's Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Isaiah Hartenstein. Well, Brent, an interesting matchup here tonight, especially when you take a closer look at the center position. Well, for the over 60 crowd, this is a fun one, B.A. It's not often that we highlight the center position as being the key matchup. But the big men on these teams, they deserve attention. It's going to be great watching them tonight. Now here's Schroeder. Counted from distance. Well, a shooter, a guy that does not lack the confidence connecting on that catch and shoot. Pass to Fournier. Wimbanyama screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. If this is what everyone wants to see Wimbanyama doing, dominating on the inside. Covered by Schroeder. Pass to Wimbanyama. It's good. Wimbanyama's got his second basket of the night. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let-up. think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. And off target. He starts the game 0 for 1. Fournier for 3. Knocks it down from distance. Yep, there's a reason why Fournier takes a ton of threes. He's pretty good at it. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Schroeder passes to Wagner. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my. He just attacks that interior. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Pass to Fournier. To the left wing. Puts up a three. Hartenstein pulls it in. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Wagner. Right now he's contributing about 15 and a half points a game. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now. Goes up off the inbound, and he hits the jumper. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Focuses on taking high percentage shots that come to him naturally. Just five on the clock. Here's Gobert. He drains that one after two misses. Now one for three. Nice balance from Gobert. Not allowing the defense to overwhelm him. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Schroeder. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. He's got five. A heady play there from Schroeder, zipping the pass to the teammate who had the cleanest look on the possession. 24 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Nilakina. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. 11 seconds left in the first quarter. Count it. Frank looking better and better here on the offensive end. Outside Schroeder. That shot off. Well, it's been a high-scoring, competitive game through the first quarter of play. Up by two. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. Some 
good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And yeah, you don't see that all that often getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. You got to respect the game plan. Here's Jang. With his first shot attempt. Yep, count it. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Now Tice. Pass to Wagner. This one for three. Gets the three to fall. Give him eight. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Down low. Six on the shot clock. Sinks the tray. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. the inside. Tice laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Tice has gotten his first bucket of the night. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Pass to Nilakina. Counted from distance. Five points in the game. Well, if you let him shoot freely, you're going to give up a lot of trays. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Fires from 14, and Wagner gets it to go. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Fournier. Money on the 19-footer. Fournier's got 10 points. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Pass to Fournier. Back to Wimanyama. Shot to stop the run. And he lays it up and in. 12 points for him. Yeah, the control from Wimby. I mean, this guy is unreal. Wimbanyama's got six of nine to go so far from the floor. Gets it to go. Makes him two for five. And their offensive execution has really picked up here in the second period. Forty four seconds left in the half. Wimbanyama screen on Schroeder with the drive to the middle. Oh, and the jam by Wimbanyama. Yeah, just his first year in the league, but Wimbanyama showing he's comfortable getting a little fancy with it. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Shoots from 14. Here's Hartenstein, and that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second-chance opportunities. Outside Wimbanyama. Pass to Gobert, and here is Fournier. Off target from outside. So we conclude the first half. Up seven. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.
Yes, we've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Man, you got to like what we're seeing from Evan Fournier. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of points. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Mo Wagner is out there with Wagner. Then there's Isaiah Hartenstein. Then it's Dennis Schroeder. That's the group for Eric Spolstra starting the second half. Now here's Wagner. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. Wagner against Batum. Lays it up and banks it in. Batum 6'8", but really sneaky with those long arms. Can go inside and score. Batum, right side. Outside for Wimbanyama. The three ball knocks down the triple. Wimbanyama's got 17 points. Okay, good game plan. Start the second half. Three of four so far from the field. Fournier covering, and he drops in the layup off the glass. He has seven. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Puts it up off the inbound. And Fournier with the basket on the assist from Gobert. Fournier with really quick hands there. Here's Schroeder. Gobert passes to Fournier. Picked by Gobert. Pulls up on the wing. Fournier with the bucket. Fournier's got nine points now in the quarter. Gone eight of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Tice outside. Pass to Schroeder. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. The potential Schroeder has is pretty exciting. Such a lightning-quick point guard. Shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. And Daniel Tice picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. A minute 39 left in the third quarter. Takes it inside. And he jams it home with authority. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. And that's good as he hits both shots. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on, he can be lights out. Hey, yo, right here. Pass to Jang. from 15 feet away. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Shot on the wing. And he gets it to go. He's got 11. Here's Schroeder. He's got 12. The three, no good on the buzzer beater. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Up seven. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. Take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that.
And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. 54% so far. Wagner, the pass to Bonga. Sinks it from distance. And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let him get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. One drops four. Gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. To the inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Nilakina sensing when one of his guys was not covered and then he found him. Final quarter here and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Wagner against Batum. They set the pick. Down low. Soft touch off the glass. Well, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Lilakina, the pass to Batum. Second chance shot, and he takes it up and lays it in. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Now Gobert. Wimbanyama screen. Inside. And the dunk by Wimbanyama. Well, Victor doesn't have too far to go. I mean, he just pops up to the rim, makes it look so easy. Back to Wagner. And counted. 8 of 14 now. He's rolling. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, a great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Now here's Wimbanyama. From downtown. He can't hit that time. Shooting about 56% in this one. Wagner for three. And the three-pointer goes. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Pass to Gobert. We've had some major international prospects of late. How difficult is it scouting players from outside the U.S., Brent? Yeah, it's incredibly difficult just because the international game has such differences in the way not only the game is played, but the way the game is called. And uh, evaluators out there that have found the guys who have come to the United States, played in the NBA, and played at the highest level during the MVP award. Now that's saying something. Impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. Pass to Wagner. And here's Schroeder outside. He buries it from three. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Covered by Schroeder. Wimanyama. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Just a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. They've got a commanding lead. It just seems like everything is going their way. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. And so the home crowd treated to a win. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And that about wraps it up.
Alongside Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce.